Hey there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of Yokai Watch. So in the last episode we were told, hey, uh, you kinda wanna come down to this, uh, to this place. Yeah. So basically we're gonna go to the place. Which is the museum. I don't know why that was like, it was on the tip of my tongue, but I just couldn't get the word out. Museum. Because our good old Bell Eddie told us, hey, hey. He, you want to do some shady stuff at the museum? And I was like, uh, I mean, sure. You know, I got pressured into this if anybody shows up. What took you so long? Come on, let's get inside. What took me so long? I don't know. The fact that you decided to do this at night and the fact that you live on the other side. Wait, what did you say? Okay. And the fact that it's on the other side of the whole town and all that. <gasps> I get to unlock this! What's up with this mirror? It's giving off an aura! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's finally happening! We get to get the mirror. <gasps> it just shined! Yo! Finally, we get the mirror. It's nice. Uh, we'll be able to use that more to teleport to places. Quan okay, stop putting science into it. It's just a yokai. You're observing the lasers, which should theoretically not even be showing because of the fact that they're supposed to be invisible lasers, because if anybody actually broke in... You wouldn't want them seeing where to step over the layers. Mirapo. There we go. We got Mirapo. It was a yokai. Hey, Mirapo. Bleh. There it is. My name is Mirapo. I'm the museum's re yokai in residence, so to speak. I teleported you here because I wish to ask a favor of you. Uh, this museum has been experiencing a strange phenomenon recently. A displaced piece. A display piece wanders around nightly making dreadful noises. It has awoken me every night and I do so treasure a good night's sleep. I suspect that it might be a yokai, however. Mirrors such as myself such as myself are rather fragile. I couldn't dare stop it. Troubled by a mysterious yokai. Sounds like a job for us. We should help protect it. For sure. Basically got into this museum. Okay. Let's find that suit of armor, because Mirapo told us to. No, leave that to me. You'll have no trouble if you make use of my power. Okay. No. Okay, if we No, I don't want to fight Yokai. SP B3NK1. That I think is the one that was actually in the anime. I am not sure, but I am pretty confident that yeah, it was BK B BK and Three, one who did the sword thing where it cut through the yokai and got got the stuffs and things. Yeah, I remember the anime. It's been a while, but I remember it uh, like it was just yesterday, which it wasn't. I'll probably rewatch it at some point. We got a cheeseburger and a baguette. Interesting items to receive after fighting a yokai. Slurp. We just warped. You know, just do a better, a better slurp interpretation. Yes. Where are we gonna slurp? Two. So this is interesting. Oh, okay. Warp quickly before that thing decides to fight us. 
And we get thrown right up out here. So it should be straight forward from here. We just get. I'm gonna do the slurp sound effects, you know? You just breathe in air. Hmm, looks like we can't get through to the second floor this way. Okay, your butler intuition. We've got a mirror. Oh. It's good that our friend happens to know how to use computers. Apparently. There it is. Okay. So if we go upstairs, we will now be able to find the boss yokai by the name of oh gosh, that looks a lot like Rough Raff, but a lot more Rough Raffy. I've never seen this yokai, but dude, but dude. Okay, so but dude is a yokai who sure does love his noodles. Which is something that we happen to not have. So how about we just take them out? Interesting to see all these yokai. Because, comparison here to Pokemon, but not negatively, positively. The one thing that I do like about this is that when it, when a yokai evolves, it follows a similar uh, design path to the original uh, yokai that it was, which is something that I really like, because you can easily tell what it evolved from, like, when I saw the dude, I was like, you look oddly similar to the, to that one yokai, I think its name was Rough Raff, you warp, and you're just gonna slurp us up, and we'll probably show up in the left quadrant, or the right one, okay, no! Run! Okay. I just don't want to fight any more yokai. Now, I feel like we got ourselves into a tight spot here. Because what we got is the fact that we can't actually get out of here. Yeah, I'd love to warp back over to where we just were. It's basically meant to show us that we can go down here and quickly. Oh, you almost got me. But lucky for me, I, I happened to happen to catch you trying to chase me. Oh, would you look at this plant? The vault key. Warp. Can you like warp us all the way back? Please. I was gonna say, if you don't mind, could ya? But yeah, apparently you do mind because you're gonna be that rude and make us go back through another warp. It's a very sad process to go through all these warps and painstaking. And the fact that, uh,. Our good old pal Eddie is doing nothing because, of course, you can't see Yokai, which means he can't really do much. And the funniest part is the fact that he doesn't question all of this. Like, how how did you get these? How are you going through the lasers? Okay. We can finally access the vault. Okay. He's basically saying, let's get to the vault as soon as possible. And the thing I'm questioning is, why aren't the cops here yet? Because, you know, there's people breaking into the museum. I'm assuming that they have cameras. Oh, jeez. What yoga is that? The, the armor, it moved. <gasps> Oh my goodness, we're fighting another boss. 
Phantom Samurai! Which happens to be a yokai that I didn't really want to fight. So we'll quickly use Badinyan. As long as we can get Badinyan's ultimate out first. Get it through. Make sure that it hits. I still beat ya. Okay. Really quickly purify. So, in all honesty, this is going to be a much less strategy-based fight in my end, at least. It's going to more so be a, make sure you win this, or else you lose. This is definitely the most powerful yokai we've ever fought. Oh, that's interesting. Hit that whatever it is. Okay, uh, no, Kateable, bad idea. Uh, K uh, I mean, Blandon will have to do. Okay, we still got a couple shots here. Three, two. One. Okay. Good. Good. We were able to get this through before it actually like shuts its door. Really quickly. See, I'm just here like, why? Why isn't it working? You know why? Why? Why are you? Why aren't you doing the thing where you let me um take you down in health? So we should be able to get it down really quickly back to where it was prior with these three yokai. I'm just confused with the fact that he's getting controlled by a... Uh, whatever is getting controlled by. But we should quickly be able to take it down. Come on, come on man. Jeez. Okay. Who do I not want to lose? Yeah, that's the best idea to do. Because they're probably all going to just get a bullet rate except for Katable and Undy. Which, really quickly, really quickly, where is the medicine? Where is the medicine? We'll be able to use this on you. And then, once we get the chance to use another item, we'll be able to use this on undy doesn't get up that much HP but it gets it up enough to be able to take on some more hits I'm going to use an item on a Badignan once I get the chance unless of course Badignan gets absolutely obliterated I'm so waiting until undy is down okay use on friend we'll use it on Badignan there we go, one of the swords is broken. Okay. Actually, this target, it's sword. Okay, target really quickly, it's sword. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Quickly, target, target the mouse. The other sword's gone. Komasan, quickly. Get this ultimate. Come on, Komasan. There we go. Quickly switch into these two. And revive Undy. So these three should be able to take it on. Hopefully we can get Badignan's ultimate back up really quickly. Come on. You got to take it down a couple more hits. Oh! Oh, you did it. You did it. Good job, team. You won the fight. Ah, oh, that was a close one in all honesty. Everybody got some... Level ups, and we got an armor charm.
So we uh, took it down. Now he's going to be questioning it, and then he's going to see a mouse, and it's going to say squeak, squeak, and the mouse is going to run away. Well, that's a mystery solve. I feel like it lacked a certain something. So the mouse living inside the armor made it look like it was moving around. Lame! Well, now that logic trumped the supernatural here, I'm going to go home. We should be able to sneak out without being detected. No problem. I swear if we get detected, I'm blaming him. Oh, he was talking about a tunnel or something earlier. I don't know. Anyways, let's let Mirpo know that we solved the Tsiokai problem. What's Mirpo gonna say? Hey, I'll help you out from now on. Boy, thank you so much for driving that awful mouse away. I forgot the voice I was doing. I can finally sleep soundly again. Night after night, that drug for Roland would shoot on my face. I don't know what I did. Uh, I was nibbling to the museum. I truly can't thank you enough. That an inadequate reimbursement, but feel it's an adequate reimbursement. But feel free to call me at any time. Thank you for your yokai medal. We've now befriended the one in Yidapo. Please let us unlock a new part of the Yokai Medallion. Gosh darn it. Okay. You can now warp with Mirapo. Okay. So from now on, we'll be able to travel with Mirapo really easily. Let's get out of here. Can't wait to write my report on disapproving the supernatural. <laughs> ah, man. If only he could see what we could see. If only... If only he could. It's, it's a sad story, you know. So... Let's continue on. Oh my gosh. We're so wasting all our money here. Ah, oh man, food. There's just food everywhere. Ah, uh, we are going to waste every single penny that we have. You guys ever heard of the Seven School of Mysteries? Uh, yeah, they're pretty famous, Bear. There's a self-playing piano, though, living an anatomy skeleton. And an escapable stairs, dancing brass statues. I know about those, but that's not all the school mysteries. You heard about the one with the weird voices people hear late at night? Supposedly it says wanna play. Creepy! Who told you that? I've never heard that one before. Actually, it's a rumor that's been going around recently. Our teacher heard it, but it was late. People get sleepy, they hear stuff. Hmm, I'm sure that's one explanation. But well, why would you bring the seven mysteries up in the first place? Because I was thinking that now is the perfect time to check them out. What do you mean? You just see, you just see Whisper going around buying stuff, like... Oh, you, you do your little conversation there. I'll go and buy myself some stuff. Well, the fireworks are going to be going off soon, right? Think about it. I mean, we can watch them in the school's roof, drink some soda. It'll be awesome. But you want us to investigate this particular rumor, right? Well, let her be on our way and all. What do you think? Should we do it? Yeah, whatever. But first, let me buy some of this stuff here. So many things to purchase. So many, so many things. It is the plan indeed. Let's hit the school whisper. <laughs> oh man, whisper! Why do you have to buy everything? Of course, we're starting the next chapter of the game, which is the extreme dare. But before we do do all of that, of course we're gonna have to, you know, buy some stuff for Mel Wildwood. Some nice ice cold shaved ice. What actually eats shaved ice? Uh, okay, I don't think anything actually eats it, but hey, we'll buy 10. We'll buy 10 for the heck of it all. Yep, I see that. Okay, what is the best drink we can buy? 
Amazing milk. Let's buy all three. And let's buy five of these. We're basically going to just get as much food as possible. Okay, we've got an, a Mirapo. Nope. No warping just yet. We just have to make sure to activate almost all of the... Um, wait, what is this? Can we not purchase something here? Okay, then. I see how it is. You just don't want customers. Corn on the cob. So this is vegetables. Ooh, about that matzo. No, I'm not buying that. We'll stick with eight of these. Okay, a kebab. Who wouldn't want a kebab? You know, we got some. <laughs> That's too expensive. Why does this game charge so much for stuff? We're literally going on a shopping spree here, you know? Spending all of our money. That'd be... Candy apples. I would love to buy some candy apples. I'm basically going for eight of each. Banter Bakery at the Summer Festival. A blag. Buy all of them. And buy all of this. Oh. Right. Okay. So I guess that's it for that. Let's head off in that case. Get on the bike and let's go to the school. Hmm. Interesting to say the least, you know. We purchased all that all those items. There's still so many places we have to check out first. Okay, so actually, I think at this point in the game, we have practically every single portion of the map unlocked. That's cool. Hey, Alex, well, we know who's a slowpoke. I'm not a slowpoke, man. I'd prefer if you called me a Charmander. Ah, that, that's a reference to another series, you know. It's, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, let's head inside. There's the old guy around here. Okay, thank you. Cutscene. Obtain this. I feel like this is trespassing. Want to play? Huh, what was that? Oh! <gasps> It's a ghost. Where did everybody go? Wanna play? This is what Bear was talking about. Let's play hide and seek. Can you find your friends? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This is a tiny bit creepy. Not even gonna lie. It's, t <laughs> it's a little more than a tiny bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Did it really not see us? That's pretty funny. J just sure. Purely based off the fact that it just blatantly didn't see us. Okay, we, we always have to look for these mirror pose. Uh. Who's Adam? Who the heck is Adam again? Pretty sure my name is Alex in the game. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't know. I, I'm just really a tiny bit confused. Oh, that's the last name. Duh. 
Katie. Interesting. She seems possessed of sorts. Uh, with a little detour, we sure can get over there, but first we have to go upstairs, I'm assuming. I like the fact that the game actually shows you where to go. It, it, it does still have a sense of difficulty to it. I kind of want to challenge this yokai. Okay. Copper lead. Alright. In that case, what do you want to eat, buddy? You want a couple dried mackerel? I'll give you a dried mackerel. He sure liked it. Yeah, perfect. So I want to target him so we actually have a chance of getting the other one as well. So really quickly. Use on foe. Okay, target. There we go. Hopefully one of them actually liked the mackerel enough to actually decide, Hey, let's be friends. Come on. A. We ought to be pals, you know. We befriended a slippery copperhead. Copper lid. No nickname for you. You're added to the medallion. Right in with all the other snakes. Okay. So I guess let's try to find this direction the arrow is trying to point us. Open up the door. Wanna play with me? Where is it coming from? Uh, let's take a look around. I see you. That is a... The yokai that showed up. Rat Ratelli. Yeah, I remember this one. Just a tiny bit. Oh my, can you see me? I sure can. I'm looking for my friends. Have you seen any humans around here? You mean that chicky looking boy? Uh, yeah, it's probably one of them. I believe she's speaking of Bear. That's the case, he's right here. Bear? So, you're gonna wanna fight. Homeroom. Room 5 2. This is an elementary school? Is he really that young? Yeah, a bit older than that. Five two. Okay. There's just Okay. The pretty rib. Okay, ready? Run. Run out of here. <laughs> You're out of breath. Just just run back. You know, let's actually just talk to you. Something interesting is that nothing's really been revealed for Yokai Watch 2. Even though basically the entire game is out already in a different country, Japan. But it's not out in the US yet. But once it's out, I will be playing the game. Well, I'm so happy, even despite your lame pun. I was so worried that I wouldn't find it, I couldn't even eat. Okay. Uh, hi there, bear. Huh? What was that? What am I doing here? How about you just head home? Or just go to the tire fire tops. Okay, you're gonna give me your Yokai okay medal and I'm gonna just be like <laughs> I didn't want to be your Rattel. Rattel. Okay, we got another charming yokai. Oh, 
all to be added upon the rest that we've got. Okay. First thing before we actually just... You know. The door opens. First thing that we need to do before we actually uh, check all that out is medals. Check out the yokai medallion. Okay. Tribe. Mysterious, tough, charming, shady, eerie, slippery. So I, I'm I'm gonna like figure it out to see which ones we actually still need. Probably not. In all honesty, it's another snake. If we can run faster, no, it's like Dara Macho but bigger. Does Dara Macho actually like evolve or something? Garuma. How to get Garuma? H how do you get it? Like, does it does it actually evolve or something? Uh, it's it's not really something that I looked into. Oof, accidentally went down. Didn't mean to do that. I'm assuming it doesn't. I'm assuming there's just some other fusion, some other way to fuse the two things. What are you? That is one big mangy mutt, multi mutt, and what if you don't mind me asking, does multi mutt enjoy to eat? Ganatair. It's a dog, after all. Purify real quick. I'm dog tired. So, take these out. Hopefully we actually get multi -mot. It'd be an interesting addition to the team, to say the least. I mean, I did toss some very expensive and rare curry bread at it. Okay, apparently I used the wrong food because it says in... I have a thing that actually shows me what the best food is. Because... Th th Use the lens on the piano. It would seem we've got ourselves the culprit. Which is the one. And the only. You guessed it. Capistol. You, you probably didn't guess it. I still don't have a pistol. Uh, if you have a more popular yokai, apparently you have a higher chance to get uh, the yokai when you're trying to tame it. Yeah, but as I was saying, I have this little thing here that lets me see uh, what food the yokai likes. And it has a little disclaimer that says what's for yokai watch 1 and it's updated for yokai watch 2. <laughs> so, sad. I'm trying to practice my piano and this. I only brought him here to emulate an adoring audience of... Okay, then. So, what do you want from me? Why do all these yokai just want me to buy them items? I know, buy them items. Get them stuff, you know? It's a rather struggle. Just surely based off the fact that I'm the the Aaron boy, basically. I run errands for them. I run errands to get them what they want. No, 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 I don't want to fight you. We can all be peaceful. Let's get you, your gosh darn sheet music. 
Uh, and now we'll be able to head back right over there, get Eddie, and then we'll be able to pro most likely fight a boss. Like, let's be honest, it's probably going to be a boss. Okay, let's open this up. Top techniques. So yeah, it'll probably, in all honesty, be a boss that we have to fight right at the end here. That's how normally the story goes. Yeah, you do this huge quest, and then at the end of it, yeah, you got a boss to fight. So I'm basically going to skip this all, because she's going to be like, Okay, thank you so much, is that it? Are you get the sheet, mu the sheet music. And I'm certainly in her depth, let me show my gratitude. She uninspired. No! 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 Sorry, it's it's copyrighted. Ah, so we got her the sheet music for Yokai Watch, basically. That, but yeah, that song got that song's copyrighted, so you know. Okay, the door's unlocked, but I still have regret. Uh, I shall return to my practice. Okay. Thanks, pal. It's a dual face dog. Whoa. Okay, let's keep running down. Get guess again. We're gonna run over to here. And I'm assuming this is finally the final. Oh, I should have healed. Oh, gosh. I should have healed. I done goofed. <laughs> gosh, it's gonna suck. Ah, oh, man. It's okay. I haven't really found myself into any fights yet. Okay, let's use your Sultimate and see how it'll go. This thing is relatively powerful. Nice to beat ya! Okay, keep getting this leg. Target this one. Okay, come on. This one's already low. Let's target a different one in that case. Okay, quickly heal up a lot. Purify. There we go. Purify. Okay, come on. Final leg. Uh, super lucky. Oh. Target. There we go. Well, actually, no. Let's use your ultimate because it'll do the most. There we go. Once your ultimate is through, we'll switch over to everybody else and use theirs. I'm going to go with Daru Machos because he should have the most powerful out of the bunch. And then we'll go with Undies because he will have the most hit out of the bunch. He'll pack the biggest punch, you know. Hopefully we can do this right before it actually decides, hey! Yeah, no, you can't actually hit me. No! That's alright. We can start focusing on the legs again. Ah, oh, darn it. We'll have to purify them. 
One at a time. Okay, you're purified. Change the target. Purify. There we go. Purify. Gosh darn it. Change the target again. Switch these out. So we can keep up uh, quickly. Why did I almost say kill? I was going to say quickly purify them. But I guess the words combined together and decided, hey, let's form a new one. Okay. Quickly used... Well, quickly use that on that. Switch into these guys because they'll be able to get more hits. Next chance we get, we'll be able to heal up Badanyan. Katable is probably done here. Badanyan is not done just yet because we'll be able to hit, heal him up. And please just get these final few hits. Okay, target. Okay, Badignan, I believe that you have your ultimate ability, which will let you get a, a decent sized hit out. There we go. Now switch into you. You have your ultimate ready. You know, I feel like the further we progress, the more strategy we're actually going to require. Okay, come on, use Spirit Dance. And get that hit. Okay, we'll, we'll be able to Sultimate you. Except you won't really help, except for the fact that you'll actually make it to work faster. Shadow Speed. Which will allow us to move much faster. Oh, wait. Let me just do this. Okay, he's down. This is really something that you have to speed up if you want it. Okay, Dara Macho. There we go. Put him back in. Purify. There we go. Blandon's the last one. For now. There we go. Yeah, I know it's getting ready to use its ultimate. Can we not purify? Okay, so to purify it actually has to be in the bottom. Here's what we're going to actually do really quickly. Okay. Who needs this the most? You need it the most. Let's slow this down. Gosh, this is getting a lot more difficult than I would have expected it to become. Okay, okay. This is our last shot. This is our last chance to actually pull through and destroy this guy or else we will actually lose this and I do not want to lose it at our given point so we just have to get all our ultimates through really quick get burning glass through and then s switch in it to undies really quick there we go once undies is through are you kidding me you did it again
Gosh, after some point it just gets annoying that you keep doing that. Okay, use on friend, we'll use it on you. And then we'll start targeting your legs. Okay, we got super lucky with that one. Come on, just hit it enough where it just... Oh, man. I hate this spider. Okay, quickly, target. Target that new leg. Oh, man. This tarantula or whatever it is is the most frustrating bot I... The bot. Boss. Sometimes I just can't get words out and I've been playing League a lot so bl blame blame League League of Legends you know I never fight players because I'm bad at the game okay so really quickly do this and then we'll be able to target this leg once we target that leg we'll get a shaped ice use the shaved ice on Komasan because Komasan most likely needs it the most based on the fact that its HP is really low. Once we get that through, we'll be able to get a couple more hits out on its legs and it's going to use Spider Stick on all th one of us. And really quickly just rub the screen on the bottom and make sure that it doesn't have the ability to get Spider Stick out on all three of us. Okay. That is perfectly fine. We'll use some shaved ice on you. And target the final leg. Once the final... Gosh, why do you keep deciding to hit me with that? Maybe it's the fact that, you know... I happen to be the only one who has the ultimate available. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Really quickly. Target, hit, Sultimate. Go faster than I've ever Sultimated before. Okay, which is, this is good because Undies is right about ready. So the moment this goes through, I will choose Undies. Come on, if we can get this last one through, we'll be able to win this fight. Come on, Undy, come on, Undy, come on. Yes, we'll be able to win this fight really quickly and really easily. We just need to get a couple more hits out. Come on! Yes! We won. So close to losing and so close to me actually giving up on this game, but we won! Woo! We won. I am so done with this game. <laughs> okay. Gosh, finally we've beaten the dang spider. And now we can go and enjoy some fireworks. And now Katie is going to be uninspirited. And now she's going to yell. Most likely because we're inside the girls' restroom. Uh, I've never seen that before. I can't even find any info on it. It's impossible it was a yokai from abroad, I suppose. It's possible it was a yokai from abroad. Maybe it brought Katie here because it was lonely or something. You think it just wanted a friend? Huh? Where am I? The bathroom. How'd I end up here? Uh, I remember being called by a strange voice. I wonder if it was the voice Bear was talking about. It must have been. Where did Bear and Eddie go? They're waiting for us on the rooftop. Come on. You got it! Well, this rising yokai I'm unfamiliar with is quite worrisome. Something big is happening. We can already tell Whisper is most definitely worried by the fact that he uh, doesn't get it. You know, what What the Whisper doesn't understand is bad, I guess. No! I forgot I have to go all the way back up. Really quickly. Uh, I thought we would have had something to be able to use, but it's perfectly fine if we don't. Oh wait, no, Katable, your, your ultimate is pretty bad. Ah, well, hey, I'm happy that we won that fight. 
uh, yeah, you know, just happy in general that we won it. Just not happy by the fact that we uh, got so close to losing it. Because if we if we had lost that fight, then I would have legitimately, uh, gosh, I, I would have given up. But hey, it's all right. Now we can head right on upstairs. Hey, we basically oh, we got a deluxe ramen. We can use that on uh, the evolutionary stage of what's his face? Not mass face. It's not that face. It's uh, rough refs next stage. You know. Okay. Let's get heading over to where we've got to be. I'm assuming it's right over here. Or not. Maybe it's this. Hey there. I'm just gonna head upstairs. I like the fact that this time he doesn't actually see me. Okay, let's head over to the right. Oh, I kind of wanted to grab that. You almost missed it. Fireworks are about to start. I love how we haven't gotten in trouble for anything we've done in this game. Hmm. What is that? It's that dragon person. Yeah, Whisper's really enjoying that drink. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I do hope you all did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, see you all in the next episode of Yo-Kai Watch. Bye-bye, everyone.